Hey guys, it's Shannon, and today I'm doing a first impression of this new BB cream that I got yesterday. So it's called the, the brand is Epiel, I think is how you pronounce it, and it's the Aqua Tinted BB Cream in the color Light Beige, and it has SPF 20 in it. Um, and it says, the Tinted Multitasking Epiel BB Cream provides a flawless finished look with instant sheer coverage to let your natural glowing skin to shine through. And I got this at Big Lots, and I think for $2.50. Um, I'm not sure exactly, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And it says on the front, All-in-one beauty balm formula works to moisturize, prime, smooth, brighten, even tone, evens tone, and protect skin from the sun. So like I said, I have mine in the color, what did I say? Light beige, and this is what the packaging looks like. For the product itself so I really like the packaging it's really sleek and really nice I like it so I'm gonna be applying this today with a beauty blender I'm not sure how much I need so I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand if I need more I'll get more so I just washed my face my face is completely clean and I actually just got out of the shower this morning my hair is all a mess um, I'm gonna be applying this with a BB with a beauty blender like I said or I might not have, I might have said it in the first take of this. <laughs> I don't remember. But anyways, I just got some on. We're going to dab it around. And yeah. This applies really nicely. I need to get my camera out on my phone to see what I'm doing. Come on, phone. Load for once in your life. So, I have not had very good experiences with BB cream. Um, I've only tried one, and I didn't really like it. Or, no, I've tried two. One of them I did like, which was the Wet n Wild one from Fergie. That one was pretty good. I liked it. Honestly, this doesn't have much coverage at all. Like, in person. It does even out my skin tone, kind of. And it makes my face look really sleek and smooth and stuff, but it doesn't have that much coverage. And I feel like there's nothing on my face at all. I don't know if a beauty blender was the best thing to use with it. Um, because it's the, it's aqua tinted, I guess. So I don't know exactly if that was the right thing to apply it with, or not. So it does blend out really nicely. It's not really that sticky. Like, it feels kind of like it just dried on, kind of. It feels really smooth, though. Especially, like, on my cheeks. It's really nice and smooth and over my nose. But I do have a lot of spots on my face that I don't know if you guys can really see. Like, especially on my chin where it didn't just, it didn't really cover them. I'm going to apply another, hold on, I need to make sure my battery's still charging. It's not. There it is. Okay. I'm going to apply another layer to see if building it up helps to cover that. So I just got about the same amount again. And I'm just going to spot it all over my face. And blend it in. It 
it feels kind of just like I'm running water over my face. Like my cheeks are really red and it's not really covering that redness though oh sorry I'm blocking your way just seeing um, and again it still didn't really cover my spot But yeah. I don't know, maybe it's just my lighting in here because I don't have very good lighting in my room. Maybe once I'm out in the sunlight it'll look better. Also my allergies are acting up really bad today and my nose is ins is like insanely itchy. But yeah. Alright, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, that was just a first impression. I like it, it's just not um, as much coverage as I'm used to. Which, a BB cream isn't supposed to be like full coverage. It is supposed to be just really natural. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm doing a makeup tutorial after this, which should go up tomorrow. Um, so I will do the rest of my makeup in it, because I'm kind of doing like a get ready with me again but it's going to be like more of a makeup tutorial um but yeah so i'll explain in that video what i really think um after i put on the rest of my makeup like explain how the rest of my makeup applies and stuff and yeah but first impression i do like it i just don't like how it's not that much coverage but that's just because i'm used to a full face coverage foundation that i wear like every day so yeah um, I would recommend this if you just want something light for like if you're going to the beach or something. And yeah, but I think that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every single day. Also, don't forget to comment any other video suggestions that you guys have. And all of my social media links are below if you want to follow me on any of that. And also, let me know what you guys think about this because I don't know. And if you've tried it, let me know what you think or any tips you have that might make it work better or anything like that but yep yeah, i think that's it for today i will see you guys tomorrow bye